<laughs> Hi everybody, welcome to my kitchen. Welcome to Karen Sizzle and Spice. It's so good to be back. Ed and I were on Long Island for a couple of weeks and we've been crazy busy since then. I'm so happy to get back in my kitchen. Today, have you had the Southwest Chicken Egg Roll appetizer at a restaurant? I love it. It's one of my favorites, the black beans, the corn, the chicken, the rice. Delicious. What I'm making today is so simple. It's a Southwest chicken casserole all in one pan. Let me show you what we're going to need. And I don't know about you, Ed, who's my cameraman, but I'm still in vacation mode. I would love to be back on Long Island. How about you? I sure am. I wish we were back on Long Island. The seafood there and all the food is just incredible, but the seafood, you've had nothing like it unless you've been right oceanside. So friends, be sure not to miss any of my upcoming videos because I'm gonna be remaking some of the foods that I ate on Long Island. And I have to tell you, we went to a gorgeous winery. My favorite food there was a shrimp scampi cauliflower crust pizza. I mean, can you imagine? It was fantastic. I've already duplicated it. I'm gonna share it with you guys soon, so don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And make sure you subscribe. So this is what we're gonna need today for this fantastic casserole. I'm gonna love this. I love leftovers. I don't know about you guys, but I love having a casserole that I can eat on for two, three days. Love it. So I have some chicken to start here. I'm gonna cut up into cubes, about a pound and a half or so of chicken. I need a, some corn. I'm just using frozen corn. You can use any kind. We'll be using a jar of salsa. I'll be using a can of black beans. We'll need some chicken broth and we'll need some rice. We'll also be using some uh, red pe bell pepper, some onion, we'll be using some garlic. Oh, chili powder, lots of chili powder. And you know, if you watch me, smoked paprika. It's one of my favorite spices. Ugh, just the smell of it, love it. We're gonna be using some fresh cilantro, salt and pepper, of course, and we're gonna use two kinds of cheese today. We're gonna use Colby Jack and sharp cheddar. Let's get this one started. All right, the first thing I'm gonna do to get this started is I'm gonna cut up my chicken. I'm gonna get the fat off of here. I'm using chicken breasts uh, because that's what I had in the free fridge. And uh, you know, you could use any parts of the chicken really. So I'm gonna cut these into nice bite-sized cubes like this. Okay, now that I've got my chicken cut up in nice bite-sized pieces, I've turned my oven on to 350, so that's ready. I made sure to wash my board off, of course, and my knife and all my tools here after chicken. So now I'm gonna start to cut up my vegetables. I'll start with the red bell. Ooh, I'm excited too. I've got bell peppers in my summer garden. Do any of you have them? I love them out of the garden. Now that I've got my red bell pepper cut up, you see how I moved it over on my board? Take a look at the groove in this uh, cutting board, Ed. This is my favorite cutting board. It's a nice big size and it's got this groove here so that if anything is juicy, the juices won't run onto my counter. Love this thing and I love that it's this big because I can move things aside and I can just keep chopping. I'm gonna leave the link for this in the description of this video along with all my other favorite kitchen gadgets in case you're looking for something in your kitchen. So I'm just going to get my onion cut here and I'm just using uh, a medium size onion just like this. Next is my garlic. We love garlic around here. I'm going to add three cloves of crushed garlic. I'm going to add it right to my onion here. I'm just going to Rinse these black beans real well. How's it going, Eddie? Oh, it's going fine. I'm always glad to help you. <laughs> Thanks. We're grating two kinds of cheese today, some Colby Jack and some sharp cheddar. Uh, we'll probably use about, oh, a good cup and a half at least, but you know, use as much as you like. We're gonna put some in the mixture and then some on top. Mm. You know, I can't help it, Eddie, as I'm listening to this music and watching you there. <laughs> 
I got uh, Uncle Giuseppe's on my mind. This fantastic specialty grocery store yeah. that you find in New York. And it's on Long Island. And it's so close to where we were staying. I think we were there about seven times. It's like a wonderland for me. You know what, guys? For all of you, I'm gonna post some pictures from Uncle Giuseppe's at the end of this video. So make sure that you watch till the end. You've never seen a store like this one. So friends, I'm getting so excited. It smells wonderful in here, kind of like a Mexican fiesta. So it's time to put it all together into my casserole dish. And like I said, this is a one pan dinner. Love that, love that. So first I'm going to spray my pan here, just to make sure nothing sticks. And what I'm gonna do in a big bowl here, I'm putting in one cup of rice. I'm gonna put in one cup of chicken broth. And I'm gonna add in my cilantro right now, my red bell peppers, and my onion and garlic. There we go. Let me grab a spoon to stir this real well. And there we go. This is gonna go into our casserole dish first. Glad to help you out. Oh my God, this smells so <laughs> good, honey. It really does, doesn't it? Wow. Look at that beautiful mixture. This is gonna go in the bottom of my casserole dish here. The reason it's going in the bottom too with most of the liquid is because you don't want any of that rice to end up crunchy. So you want a nice uh, even layer here. Oh my goodness, the smell. I can't wait to eat this. Is it ready yet, Ed? <laughs> uh. Okay, now that we have our first layer in our casserole dish, in that same big bowl, I'm gonna put all my cut up chicken in here. I'm gonna add my black beans. I'm gonna add one cup of corn. Ooh, yeah, this is gonna be so good. There we go. Next is a whole jar of salsa. I like mild, but you can always use a, a hotter one if you prefer. Okay, and now we're gonna put at least a half a teaspoon of chili powder, maybe more. You can do this to your taste. I'll bet you I'm more like a tablespoon in there. And the same with the smoked paprika. One of my favorites. And there we go. And we're gonna put a little regular pepper in, black pepper. And a little bit of salt. Like a teaspoon or so of salt. There we go. And then we're gonna give this a good stir. Ooh, look at that goodness. Yum, yum, yum. Wow. Now that I've got this mixed up well, I'm gonna kind of carefully just put it on top of the rice. I don't wanna upset the rice too much. I wanna keep it an even layer, again, so that that rice cooks nice. Ugh, this smells just incredible. Okay, now that I have a nice even layer here, and you know what, I was just saying to Ed, um, I wanna be careful not to add too much chicken broth to this. Uh, if it comes out and it's a little too thick for your liking, you can always add a bit of chicken broth, but you can't take it out. So uh, I'd rather start with just a little bit. Now I'm gonna put some of this fantastic cheese on top, just like this. Oh yeah, beautiful. Uh, when we first put this in the oven, we want to have it covered with aluminum foil. So cover it really well. It's going to go into the 350 degree oven for 45 minutes. After that, we're going to take it out. We're going to add more cheese and then we're going to put it back in the oven uncovered. This is going to be fantastic. It's been 45 minutes. I got to take this out of the oven. Let's take a look. Oh, it 
smells wonderful. Watch this. Oh, look at this, Ed. Oh, you guys, <laughs> look how beautiful that is. I don't need to add any more cheese to this. We'll probably add some cheese as we eat it, but I'm gonna put this back in the oven. Maybe turn the oven up to 375 and just let it brown a little bit. Oh my God, I cannot wait to eat this, Eddie. Mm, <laughs> me too. Woo! Oh, that looks good. Oh, we'll be right back. <laughs> we are so excited, you guys. We are ready to eat. I've already spooned some in a bowl for Ed. Go ahead and dig in, Eddie. All right. And I'm glad I didn't add more than the one cup of chicken broth because it's plenty of liquid in here. It's beautiful. And we're actually gonna add a little more cheese here. Yeah, this is piping hot. I gotta let it cool for a second. And we're gonna add some Fritos for some crunch. You can add whatever you want to this. You could add green onion. You could add uh, other kind of Doritos. You can add sour cream, tomato, <laughs> whatever you like. But I'm just gonna put a couple of Fritos in here and I'm gonna give this a taste. Okay, let's see how this is. Trying to get a little bit of everything in here, plus the Frito. Mmm, mmm. It is just like the inside of a Southwest chicken roll. This is delicious. Oh my goodness. You guys are gonna love this one. Mmm. Mm. Very good. You like it? Mm-hmm. I love the smokiness of the paprika and the spice of the chili powder, the crunch of the Fritos, the rice, the salsa. This is a winner in my book. It's delicious. I hope you will love this one. I hope your family will love it. And remember, don't forget to watch this video to the end because I'm gonna post some pictures from that fantastic store called Uncle Giuseppe's. And make sure you watch for my new videos and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks so much. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.